Matt Dunnigan is a proven winner. If there's such a thing as a quarterback with attitude, then Matt would be that guy. That attitude started early in the neighborhood, playing rough and tumble games with kids in Ohio and Texas. When in Ohio, he wanted to play for Woody Hayes at Ohio State. When living in the Dallas area, Darrell Royal and Texas looked like the final destination. But assistant coach E.J. Lewis knew Matt Dunnigan was just what Louisiana Tech needed. I'd like to thank him for coming over here to Louisiana Tech and performing like he did. And I also like to recommend to, to say that I'm so proud of him going up to Canada and playing the way as well as, as he played. From 1980 through 1982, Dunnigan made Louisiana Tech football a national championship contender in 1AA again, and in the process, helped break a number of Terry Bradshaw's records, throwing for 40 touchdowns and more than 7,000 yards. But the NFL did not like Dunnigan's size, and he ended up in the Canadian Football League, beginning a love affair with CFL football. It was Matty's preparation that set him apart. He could take that preparation and then put the team into positive plays out on the field. And that's really the mark of a true quarterback, being able to lead like that. His pocket mobility, his ability to extend a play, the arm speed that generated such great velocity on the throw, but in overall his accuracy was absolutely tremendous. Donegan played with a mix of enthusiasm, sheer joy, determination, and will. He played football with the frantic urgency of a guy late for a plane, or maybe a hot date. You see, Matt Dunnigan, or the Peacock as I nicknamed him, always had a draw. But getting closer to game time, it got worse and worse. Listen, game day, he'd walk in. He'd strut in, actually. You know, it'd be all bow-legged. Well, he's always bow-legged. Matt was born on a horse. And, you know, he'd get that draw going. He'd start talking to you across the locker room. I couldn't understand a word he was saying. Nobody could. But then we all smiled because we knew Matty was in his zone. And that just knew. We just knew we were going to get a victory that day. Five different CFL teams had winning marks with Dunnigan at the helm. And he threw for 43,857 yards and 306 touchdowns, including an amazing 713 yards for Winnipeg against Edmonton on July 14, 1994. And when his days on the field ended, he found a new home at TSM. Matt had a magic touch as a quarterback on the football field, but he's got a magic touch as a man and as a father. He's a Hall of Fame football player, but to me, he is a Hall of Fame guy. So tonight, I hope you raise one up in your non-dominant hand and have a great time tonight and say congratulations to Kathy and Madison and Dane and Dolan and Matt Dunnigan. Congrats, buddy.